I greet you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Chitalu Chilufia, you should listen to my pronunciation of the name Dr. Rasha. <laughs> the Honorable Minister for Lusaka Province, Mr. Bowman Lusambo, Honorable Minister of Gender, Mrs. Elizabeth Peary, Honorable Minister of Community Development and Social Services, Mrs. Olipa Mwansapiri, members of the diplomatic corps present, the permanent secretaries in the Ministry of Health, Chief Executive and President of Make Foundation, Dr. Rasha Kalej, senior government officials present. I also recognize the presence of the wife to the Speaker of the National Assembly, Mrs. Ethel Matibini. I recognize the presence, of course, of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today marks the launch of Make Foundation and Make More Than a Mother program in Zambia. I am excited to be part of this noble initiative. This is a historic moment because for the first time, we have a program that not only empowers women with fertility challenges, but will also build capacity in cancer care and management of diabetes and hypertension in Zambia. May I take this opportunity to commend Make Foundation for this great program. The Make Foundation contribution to the health sector is already positively impacting our communities, even before formally launching the program in Zambia. I say so because three of our medical doctors have already benefited from a 12-month fellowship in surgical oncology, pediatric medical oncology, and gynecologic oncology through Make African Oncology Fellowship Program offered at Tata Memorial Center. This is a center of excellence in cancer care in India and the world at large. These medical officers, like Dr. Rasha mentioned earlier on, have since retained and are implementing the acquired skills through a multidisciplinary team management approach, which is a key component in the appropriate cancer care health provision. On behalf of the people of Zambia, we welcome the long-term partnership with Make Foundation to help build health care capacities and address our challenges in the country through our Ministry of Health. This is in line with our legacy goals as enshrined in our National Health Strategic Plan 2017 to 2021, anchored on the country's seventh National Development Plan. As First Lady, I shall endeavor to continue supporting the implementation of this partnership through my office as well as the Estalung Foundation Trust working together, of course, with the Ministry of Health to discuss strategies and interventions for effective implementation. Ladies and gentlemen, Zambia, as part of the global village, has not been spared by the ravaging effects of cancer. Therefore, the partnership with Make Foundation has come just at the right time to augment existing efforts. It is hoped that Make Foundation will bridge existing gaps by providing support for skills acquisition needed in the provision of cancer care 
through this established partnership with the Zambian government. Another area of potential support in the ever-growing burden of non-communicable diseases, NCDs, is diabetes and hypertension management. I am happy to note that the recent STEPS National Survey that was conducted on risk factors for NCDs shows that the majority of our population with disease are in the community, but with limited access to essential care. I am therefore glad that MEC Foundation will work with us on identifying strategies to reverse the increasing trend of the diabetes and hypertension, specifically training of medical staff and raising community awareness. Ladies and gentlemen, infertility remains a public health problem in Zambia with direct and indirect negative effects on couples and families. Infertility is a health, social, cultural, and emotional issue. We've just been watching the videos which must have touched many of us they were quite touching. But surely should we continue living under such situations where others are chopped off their Our hands? To have lost marriages? As we may all know, marriage is viewed as an institution for having children in our country. Therefore, inability to have children has many consequences, which, as I had already alluded to, has broken many, many marriages. It has brought about physical and emotional abuse, mostly on female partners. It has brought about extramarital affairs in an effort to have children. It has brought about gender-based violence by partners and communities. About 10 to 15 percent of couples in Zambia are affected by infertility. And around 85 percent of the infertility is due to untreated infectious diseases such as sexually transmitted infections, STIs, unsafe abortion, and unsafe delivery. Therefore, prevention is very important and it is one of the main objectives of the MAKE Foundation program. Ladies and gentlemen, it is sad to note that women are blamed for infertility solely. Although 50% of infertility is due to men, we need to encourage men to speak out like the husband to Mrs. Sampa, who has just given us her testimony. It is important for these men to discuss their infertility issues openly and know that fertility is a shared responsibility. Management of infertility is a great challenge in our setting due to limited investigations and treatment capacity. The program we are launching today, Make More Than a Mother, is very, very critical for Zambia. I am fully supportive of this initiative as the First Lady of Zambia and as a woman, it is very close to my heart. I firmly believe that it is important to empower women with fertility challenges, not only through creating a culture shift, but to raise awareness about infertility prevention, which is very much aligned with my other health programs. 
During the implementation of this partnership, Make Foundation will provide training to the first fertility specialists and first embryologists in Zambia, and we will continue to build capacity through training of more candidates, like it has already been said by Dr. Rasha. You may wish to know that Zambia has never had a fertility clinic or fertility specialist in the public sector before. So today, we are actually making history. <laughs> Furthermore, I am glad to note that Make Foundation yesterday provided the first health media training to our media representatives from across Zambia. The aim of the training was to impart skills necessary for community sensitization, to break the stigma around women with infertility, and to encourage men to speak up about their infertility, and also to support their wives to start a beautiful family. Once again, we are happy to partner with Make Foundation. Congratulations to Make Foundation and the Ministry of Health, which is under the leadership of Honorable Minister Chitalu Chilufia for this milestone. I am overjoyed and feel blessed to be the inaugural ambassador for Make More Than a Mother in Zambia and being part of this great initiative, which is a very noble campaign. Now I can say thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for your, for your attention. May God bless you. May God bless the Zambian men and women going, this, going through this traumatizing uh, condition. God is able. And thank you.